Grammarly is a writing assistance app that is available for all of our students in self-service, um, but it has been preloaded onto the home screen already downloaded for all of our students who have IEPs. Um, we're looking for a green background with a kind of white G slash arrow. We're going to go ahead and open it and we'll hit the get started link and we'll continue with Google as always, continue. And we wanna make sure that our students are selecting their school provided account. Okay, so this is not a typical app. It's really going to um, be adding a keyboard to our devices. Um, and we get the instructions on screen that we need to go to settings, tap Grammarly, keyboards, and allow full access. Right to the right of where it says tap Grammarly, there's a link that says go there that'll shoot us right there so we don't have to search for it. So here we are under the Grammarly section of our settings. We'll tap the keyboard section. We want to swipe Grammarly all the way on. And we also need to swipe on allow full access and say allow. So we've allowed full access, which means that now if I go into any app where I can pull up my keyboard, so here I am in Google Docs. When I hit the globe icon uh, where I can access my other keyboards, for instance, many of our students have a Spanish keyboard installed. Um, most of us are already on the English keyboard. And then we'll swipe down to Grammarly. I'll see that green G appear in the upper left of my keyboard. And that shows me that Grammarly is now on. So I can continue typing um, in this student essay. This student's essay could benefit from some attention from Grammarly. All right, as you can see, I did a really horrible job. Um, it thinks it was able to recognize some of my errors. So you can see that initially it was telling me to check my spelling. It knew that I wanted to type students. But then I made so many other mistakes, some of which I made so badly that it kind of gave up hope on me going back and fixing students. So it's going to provide some like autocorrect um, and some spelling assistance, kind of like we would normally expect from our iDevices. But where the power is really going to come into play here with Grammarly is when we click on that green G icon. Like it says, each time you tap the Grammarly button, we'll check everything in the text field. I'm going to hit continue. Now it's scanning over this whole student essay. Now, something I don't necessarily love about Grammarly is it's not highlighting in my essay where these grammar mistakes really fall. But what you can see is in the gray section above where it says right now, change the verb form, I have an excerpt of where my mistake is so I can kind of get a sense of the context. Notice right now my iPhone is in portrait and right now all I see is at the range is typically falls between dollar sign students are going to want to use Grammarly in landscape and now I have a way better view of the context of all of my problems here um, so here I can clearly see that I have departments, period, the, without a space, and sure enough, Grammarly is telling me to add a space. If I hit the green button there, it's going to automatically fix that for me. And now I can continue to swipe through to my next indicated error. So I can see that here I typed A-E-M-T. I need to change the article to an E-M-T. And now we're all set. 
Here I have injured also to transport the patient to medical facility. I also need an article here. I need a medical facility or the medical facility. Probably want A. And now that is correct. So it's gonna push me through each time I make a correction. Um, we need to teach our students to make sure that they are looking at the little excerpt of their error and they're being critical. Here I have an option of the dispatcher or a dispatcher. I need to make sure that I am selecting the appropriate type of article. Um, you know, EMTs aren't receiving a call from one specific dispatcher, the dispatcher, they're receiving a call from a generic anybody dispatcher, a dispatcher. So it's not going to do all of the thinking for them. They will still have some choice. And they're also going to have to think about when they need to accept Grammarly's advice or when they need to dismiss it. Um, regardless, it's a really great way to highlight um, some issues that our students are making, bring their attention to those issues, and provide them with some possible solutions.